This video explains how to remove missing values in a data object using the na.omit function in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first example of this video, I will show you how to apply the na.omit function to a vector object. And for this, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called vec. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new vector object containing eight elements, and two of these elements are NA. Now let's assume that we want to remove these NA values from our vector object. Then we can apply the na.omit function to our vector object, as you can see in line five of the code. So all we have to do is to specify the vector object or the name of the vector object within the na.omit function. So in this case, our vector object is called vec. And then I'm storing the output of the na.omit function in a new data object that I call vec new. So after running line five of the code, this new vector object vec new is appearing at the top right. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six. And then you can see that we have created a new vector object, which contains only the non-NA values of our input vector. So in this first example, I have shown how to apply the na.omit function to a vector object. However, it's also possible to use this function to remove rows in a data frame that contain missing values. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line eight. So as a first step, we have to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines eight to 10. And after running these lines of code, this data frame is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console. And then you can see that our data frame contains seven rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. And the column x1 contains two NA values and the column x2 contains one NA value. Now let's assume that we want to remove all rows in our data frame that contain at least one NA value. This method is also called listwise deletion. And please note that this method has to be applied very carefully because in some cases you might remove many rows in your data and this might cause bias. However, in case you have decided to use listwise deletion, you can simply use the na.omit function as you can see in line 13 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm applying this function to our entire data frame. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object that I call data new. So after running line 13 of the code, this new data frame object is appearing at the top right. And I can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a subset of our input data frame where all rows with at least one NA value have been removed. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.